Hey, sorry for the edit, folks. Dog barking. Um, anyways, um, yeah, RC, I liked them. I thought they were cool. I thought it was a great idea. Um, I liked the designs on them. Um, they had a couple of lines, but still pointless. They didn't do much. They didn't even really, I mean, I, I don't know. I was just kind of, that was, that was annoying. Um, and Sideswipe. I mean, Sideswipe's awesome. Great vehicle mode, great awesome mode, great opening scene when we first see him. And then, nothing. He gets one more line at the end, as, as does RC in the big final battle. But, you know, there's not much to it. Um, not much to him. And that, that was, that was a disappointing. I was hoping for more out of those two characters. Um, on the Decepticon side, Barricade, another pointless character, other than to show off probably the, one of the coolest, um, demises of any character in either one of these movies. Um, just getting sliced in half like butter. Um. But again, it's like, eh, you know, and they make a figure of him. Uh, ah. <laughs> I don't know. That, 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 for some reason, that bugs me. Um, I hope I'm not bringing anyone down or discouraging anyone. You should go see the movie. Um, definitely really like Starscream much more in this movie because we saw him more. He had more lines. We got, you know, of course... We've got the sequel, the, the Reign of Starscream, and, and the other stuff to kind of build that character up to this movie. So I really liked him a lot more in this film. Um, Megatron uh, was definitely a lot cooler because, again, he got much more screen time and got to do a lot more. Um, and I have to say, I, was not, I have not been a fan at all of the leader class Megatron figure from the toys, but after seeing him on the big screen, I like him a lot more. Um, so, I may be getting him later on down the road, but yeah, Megatron was very, very cool. Uh, the Fallen, Tony Todd was awesome. Um, I like Tony Todd when he does these voiceovers for these sorts of characters. Uh, we got, it, well, I didn't, because I didn't want to spend the money to go through the autograph room, but we had a convention here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area a few months ago, and my friend Michael, who's a big 24 fan, who wanted to go meet him because apparently Todd played a character on 24, went through the line, and no one was really talking to him. So Michael got a chance to stand there and talk to him for quite a while. And at the convention, Todd kind of let it slip. He, before he realized he had said it, he had told my friend Michael that he's in the new movie, he's in the new Transformer movie. And then he caught himself and was like, but, but I can't tell you what, 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 I can't tell you what part I'm playing. So... Uh, when we did find out that he was the voice of, of the Fallen, we were we were pretty excited about that. That was pretty cool, um, and that character was just, um, you know, one of those epic Transformer characters. I think they did very very well. Um, what else? The Constructicons confused a lot of people. Um, you know, I apparently the construct apparently when when the Decepticons have been coming to Earth over the last what two years. Uh, they have been pretty much all taking the form of construction vehicles. So the majority of Decepticons on Earth are construction vehicles. And they can all form De Devastator at any given time with whoever happens to be there. Because, um, you know, you've got the core figures we have seen for the toy formed together to create Devastator. But then you have the exact same characters as individuals involved in the big battle at the same time. Um, and I'm sure a lot of that comes from budget constraints, which there's a lot of stuff in here that I think they definitely had to cut, you know, they, they didn't have really a choice. I mean, this is a huge budget movie. Um, reusing CGI models for, for, primarily for the Decepticons, I understand why they did it. I know a lot of people are upset about it. It doesn't bother me that much, though. I mean, I kind of like the idea that, you know, there's more than just six or seven Constructicons. Archie, Sorry, I have to do my videos in a new location for a while, so the the dogs are adjusting. Okay, so anyways, yeah, love the movie. Yes, there are plot holes. Like, how does the Fallen know that Sam has the information on his head? They never explain that. But it's a Bay movie. I went in expecting that. That didn't bother me too much. The other things that really got to me, um, and, and I'm not a prude at all with movies, 
Um, I don't mind cussing. I don't like sex stuff. In, I, I mean, I don't mind the sex stuff in the movies. It doesn't bother me at all. Um, but I thought for a movie like this, being that it's Transformers and Hasbro gearing this line towards kids, there was definitely a little too much sex in this movie. Um, you know, a friend of mine asked me this morning if I was to, would say it's okay to take his nine-year-old son. I, you know, I told him, well, you know, unless he's prepared to do a lot of discussion after the movie to explain some of the things, um, maybe he didn't want to. That was his decision. But, um, yeah, I mean, and, I, and it kind of surprises me as I thought about it today that Hasbro was okay with that. You know, you would think, like I said, hey, toys are, you know, these are toys. This, this line, our main customer, are kids. But Bay's making this movie with Sam's mom high on pot brownies and telling random co-eds that she was, Sam didn't know it, but she was in the house when he lost his cherry. Um, yeah, that line, I was just like, what did she just say? Um, you know, and, and stuff like that. I, you know, that... I think that was a little much. Um, and I don't really mind cussing in a movie if it's done within the context of the story. I'm, I'm not a big fan of just gratuitous cussing to cuss. Um, I, I kind of thought, I mean, I know the character of Wheelie, would, you know, that kind of fit in with that character of Wheelie a little bit, but at the same time, you know, when I, when I first heard, you know, Wheelie's dialogue and he starts cussing, I was just kind of like, whoa. Um, did what? So, I don't know, I don't know how I felt about that. Um, you know, and I could see, you know, a soldier running across the desert and a big explosion going off next to him, and his natural reaction is to yell some sort of curse word. But, I, I, I did think, and, and so, again, that coupled with the sex, I mean, that did bother me a little bit, because like I said, this is, you know, this, this is a, 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 for me, has been a good, um, vehicle to connect with my students at school, with younger generations, um, and, and have that in this movie, f particularly for, based on a toy line that Hasbro is, kids, 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 let's sell it to the kids. Um, yeah, that, 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 that was a little, little weird for me, so, but all in all, like I said, great movie, I am going to see it again, I'm going to try to go to the IMAX next time, because apparently the IMAX has some additional footage. Um, I don't know if that's true yet or not. That's just, to me right now, a rumor. So if someone can confirm that, that'd be good. Um, and, um, yeah. Go see it. Definitely go see it. If you're not a fan of Transformers, go see it, because it's still... It is a roller coaster. It is a big popcorn movie. It was a lot of fun. We were laughing. I was, you know, there was a couple parts where I was cheering. There was some parts where I was just like, whoa, you know. Um... Yeah, it was it was good. It was good. It is it is definitely a good movie. So um, even the crowded, cramped, hot movie theater on opening night, I dealt with for this movie. So, anyways, thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later.